Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to search a PDF within Google Colab. We'll do this using the PDF grep tool. PDF grep is a command line utility to search text and PDF files. Some of the features of PDF include using grep compatible commands, we can search many PDFs at once, we can use regular expressions to search a PDF, we can even search across password protected PDFs. For this tutorial, we'll use bash commands to install PDF grep as well as use PDF grep. What I'll do first is I am going to go in this cell. I'm going to start with a exclamation point and I am going to get sudo apt get update. What this will do is it will update all the packages within Google Colab. We'll run this. Now that we have that done, we are going to install PDF grep. We will run sudo apt install PDF grep. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to check that PDF grep was installed. I'm going to start with the exclamation point again, and I'm going to say PDF grep, and I am going to check the version. And we can see that we have version 2.12. We were able to successfully install PDF grep. Now that we've done that, I am going to upload the PDFs that we are going to search within our content folder here. I'm just going to drag and drop. Now that we've uploaded our PDFs, what I can do is I can go here and we can start using PDF grep. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to search for a specific term or phrase. We'll call PDF grep here. Then afterwards, we are going to put in the pattern or string that we are going to search for. In this case, I'm going to look for the conditional probability distribution. Then we need to specify the file that we're searching. So I am going to search this one. This is the unsecured one. So I'm just going to go here, hit the three buttons and copy path. Then we'll paste it here and then we can run. I'll also put it in quotation marks just in case there are spaces or anything like that that could confuse the command line search. Okay, we have this and we can see that we find the conditional probability distribution in this specific portion of the text. What I can do is I can check, I have the PDF up here and this is for a machine learning course. So let's search for it. And we can see that we were able to capture that. We can see that we have the conditional probability di distribution and that is the probability of A given B. If we go back, we can see that's what we have printed here. We can also search for the pages containing the specific search or phrase. I'm going to call PDF grep again. Then I am going to denote it with dash P to search for the specific page. I am going to put the rest of, I am going to keep the rest of the search the same here. So we'll, we're still looking for a conditional probability distribution and we can run this. And this first number here denotes the page that it can be found on. It's page four and the one denotes the number of times it appears within the page and that's one time. If we go back to our PDF, we can confirm that we are on page four and we can see that it only appears once in the text. We can count the number of times a phrase appears in a file. We'll start with our PDF grep again. This time I'm going to say dash C and I am going to search for the Gaussian mixture model. We put in the path finally, and we can run this. Within our text, we can see that it appears nine times. We can go back and we can search. It does look like there is a discrepancy. Right now, Google is saying it appears 10 times. One of the things is that PDF grep may not always capture all of the counts or phrases that we are searching across a PDF, so be aware of that. We can also use a case insensitive search. I'm going to call PDF grep. To make it case insensitive, I'm going to say dash I, and I am going to search for posterior calculation. And to illustrate this, I'll put it in all caps. And we can see PDF grep returns all of the times that it appears. And we can see that posterior calculation, all caps. However, in our search, we have the different times posterior calculation comes up with using our calculate, our insensitive search, case insensitive search. We can also search a password protected PDF. This PDF here is password protected. I'm going to copy the path. 
path. And you can try this as well. I uploaded the secured one. We're going to start with PDF grip. Then I am going to look for the count. I need to specify that we are putting in the password. It's going to be dash dash password. And we have a simple password of A, B, C, D, E, F. Then I am going to look for the phrase. I'll call it the Gaussian mixture model and I'll also input the path. And we can see that we were able to open and search across the password protected PDF to find the number of times the Gaussian mixture model is mentioned. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about PDF grep, I included the documentation as well as PDF grep on GitLab. You can also run this on Linux if you choose to do so on your local computer. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.